So the Hall of the five players in the Hall of Fame, well, four of them, three of them, four of them played at least in hockey because there's two that didn't play in the NHL. I think he didn't play in the NHL. I don't know. So first, let's get off Martin Brodeur. No surprise that he's making the Hall of Fame. I think he was first ballot. He had 691 wins, 397 losses, and 154 overtime loss. He had a 2.24 goals against average in his career, and then a .919 save percentage. So that's pretty good. And then another first ballot Hall of Famer, Martin St. Louis. Only five foot eight, went undrafted. In 1,134 games, he had 391 points, 641 assists. He played for Calgary. They traded him for basically nothing, and I wish they had. And they probably wish they had him in the Stanley Cup final. And then Alexander Yashikov, I think that's how you say that. He played with the Canadian in the 1970. He played with Canada in 1973 Summit season. He had 29 goals and 43 assists. I couldn't find how much games he played. And then Jan Jana Hefford, she played for Team Canada, second in scoring in Team Canada Women history, only behind... I forget her name. I don't know why I forget her name, but I couldn't find how much goals she had. And then... <laughs> I don't know what to think about this, and either do most people, Gary Bettman made the Hall of Fame. Did some good, I guess. I don't know. And how the freak does Daniel Everson not in the Hall of Fame? Boy! How did Daniel Everson not make the Hall of Fame? It actually pisses me off. Well, I was like, Daniel Elferson's going to make the Hall of Fame. Daniel Elferson's going to make the Hall of Fame. Daniel Elferson's going to make the Hall of Fame. They announced Martin Broder. Okay, Martin said it'll be definitely those two. Alexander Yesiko. Okay. Jenna Hefford. Okay. Gary Bettman. No, Daniel Elferson. Boom. Why? Is it because he never won a Stanley Cup? Huh? Show some respect to the Senators. No one's showing respect to the Senators right now. That was going on, but show some fucking respect. I don't know why. It's kind of hard to believe that Gary Bettman made the Hall of Fame, and he's not even retired. Guess he is the one of the best commissioners. See, he does get booed a lot, and I booed him even though I'm not even there. Of course, Martin Broder is going to make it. Martin St. Louis, of course, he was going to make it. I think he's the bet. That's one of the best stories in hockey history. Five foot eight, undrafted, went in a league that was full of full of giant players, basically. Still, Daniel Char was still in his prime. Um, he played with the Senators, and pretty, pretty good draft. Pretty, and I mean, pretty, pretty good Hall of Fame class. Next season, Daniel Alfredson better make the Hall of Fame, or that's three years that he's eligible for the Hall of Fame and he doesn't make it. Comment down below what you think of this Hall of Fame class. Do you think Gary Bettman deserves it, and do you think Daniel Alfredson should have made the Hall of Fame? Because I sure do. As a Senators fan, I got to watch him play. I am out. Peace.